Allah, how do we find the right dhikr to do daily, daily when we don't have a spiritual guide? Do we just keep doing words like Imam al Nawi uh, or Imam al Hadas? They're great. They're great. Right? Um, <clears throat> one, one dhikr or one word you should have is the Quran. And at the very, at the very least, Surah Al Mulk every night. So you have that in your life. If you can do a juz, a 30th of the Quran every day, fantastic. Right? Fantastic. Do that. Right? And, um, but one of the easiest things you can do, so have some Quran in your life, and then one of the easiest things you can do, and you should do, is the salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu um, Alaihi Wasallam. Um, and there's many forms, and you can read many wordings. And there's one wording, um, <coughs> which is nice, nice and simple. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sallim. Very simple. All our blessings on our, on our Master Muhammad and his family. And, and send peace as well. So very easy and you can do that. The more you do, the better. So some of the ulama say like, you know, if um, the, the salah on the Prophet has an effect on a person and there are many, many blessings connected to it. And you're also praying for the Prophet and so you benefit from that Allah sends mercy Allah forgives your sins your rank is raised it's one of the best forms of dhikr there is you're remembering Allah and you're making a dua you remembering you mentioning the Prophet you're praying for him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there are a lot of benefits I was re I remember I was reading a couple of days ago I was reading and I think I've deleted it <laughs> I was re reading something um, Yeah, okay. I was reading something the other day. It's a commentary uh, by Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi al-Farsi uh, on uh, Imam Jazuli's Dala'il al-Khairat. So anyway, so he's got a quote in there from one of the ulama. And I like this because it's, it's quite eloquent in Arabic. He says, وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ فِي الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ عَشْرُ كَرَامَاتِ That there are ten honorings in the blessings on the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم إحداهن صلاة الملك الجبار One is that the, you get the blessing the salah هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور That he, Allah is the one who sends these salah, these blessings on you as do his angels to, so they can take you out of the darknesses into the light through al Ahzab. So you get that. <coughs> he said that's the first uh, honoring that you get. وَالثَّانِيَ شَفَاعَةُ الْنَبِيِّ المختار. The honor and the, they're all going to rhyme with the, the letter R, oh, I believe. Uh, and then the second one, the intercession of the chosen prophet. You send enough salawat on him, he will intercede for you on the day of judgment. If someone deserves to go to hell, he can be taken out. Uh, he can be protected from even going in there and in paradise his, his rank can be raised or if he's in there he'll be taken out. Your, you're following the actions of the righteous angels because the angels send blessings on the Prophet as well and you're doing that so you're being honored with the capacity with the ability to do an action that the chosen servants of Allah and you know, the special angels of Allah do and maybe you'll be resurrected in like we know that <coughs> in the hadith about the Quran, Quran recitation uh, <coughs> The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Oh, come on, call alayhi salatu salam. Um, that whoever struggles with the Quran, he gets a double reward. Uh, uh, I forgot the wording. Well, mahi rubihi, ma'al malaikatul. I forgot the actual wording, but the, the, he talked about the one who's uh, skilled and you know skilled at reciting the Quran will be with the will the, will be with the angels on the day of judgment, right? So you're being honored with doing an action that the angels do, and maybe you'll be with them. وَالرَّابِعَةُ مُخَالِفَةُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْكُفَّارِ That the fourth is that you're you're opposing. The hypocrites who would criticize the Prophet and the disbelievers who would insult the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We see plenty of that in our time. So they're opposing him, you're praising him and you're praying for him. Okay. Well Khamisatu Mahwul Khataya Wal Awzar. And the fifth is that your sins and your mistakes are being wiped away. Right? Allah forgives your sins. Um, to be honest with you, 
Uh, it's a sunnah to say, uh, to ask for forgiveness, astaghfirullah. So don't leave that. But um, but you commit a sin, you say astaghfirullah, you know, with sincerity, it's forgiven. And But if you say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, then ten sins are forgiven, you get ten good deeds, your rank is raised, you get the mercy from God, you get a lot more. So do both, right? Wasadisatu, aunun ala qada il hawaiji wal awtar. Uh, you'll be given help in fulfilling your needs uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, uh, 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 the man who, who said, Ya Rasulullah, how much of my dua should I make in, in salawat on you? And he said, half. And anyway, so the, the end was, he said, shall I make all of it prayers for you? He said, in that case, if you do that, um, your sins will be forgiven and all your needs will be taken care of. You're praying for the, for the messenger and your needs will be taken care of. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَالسَّابِعَةُ تَنْوِيرُ الظَّوَاهِرِ وَالْأَسْرَارِ A person's outward and inward will be illuminated. You see the light of Iman on people's faces. You know, I had, I had a friend in university <coughs> and he accepted Islam. I, I met him maybe then or a couple of days later and he looked like just anyone off the street, right? Any non-Muslim, right? And... Uh, and then over the two, three years, two years that I knew him and I met him years later as well. And wow, what a radical transformation that you could look at his face and it was glowing, right? With this light of Iman is beautiful. And so this, you know, it increases and your heart becomes full of light as well. So, you know, that's also a blessing. Your yeah, Iman increases. وَالثَّامِنَةُ النَّجَاتُ مِنْ دَارِ الْبَوَارِ uh, being saved uh, in the abode of destruction on the day of judgment. Uh, ninth, التاسعتو دخولو دار القرار that you st you'll enter the homeland, right, paradise. And والعشيرتو السلام الرحيم الغفار that you'll be greeted in paradise then uh, by the the um, ever merciful and the forgiving. So that's what you do. Right, have some Quran and some istighfar, Allah forgive me, and um, the salawat on the Prophet. And uh, the word, for example, the word of Imam al Haddad, excellent, right? What does he have? The du'as of uh, protection from the morning and the evening that the Prophet taught, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you have something like that going, great, do it, right? But if you want, instead of just dipping your toe in, you know, in, in every pie, do some Quran, do one of these awrad in the morning and the evening, and then send as many blessings on the Prophet as you can. You know, pick a target number, what you can do easily, you know, 500, 1000, whatever you can do, and whatever you, you can do consistently, uh, and do that. And Allah knows best.